Hey guys, just a quick update on the tank. I was looking in the sump and I had one Optasia and I, I did get rid of that. So I was checking just to make sure of everything and I found something that I had to do with in another tank. But over here, I found a lot of hydroid jellyfish that were coming out of some cater that I bought recently. You can see those guys. So, you know, I don't think these clear ones really do much. Um, the brown ones definitely can sting certain corals, maybe even fish. And I noticed that fish probably don't like these. Some eat them, most don't. I know that cardinal fish doesn't, but so far these are only in the sump. Well, actually, the refugium. So I noticed these, and as soon as I noticed them, I started to take as much as a, a, like out as I could. I know that that's pretty much the only way to get rid of these guys is to take them out by hand. So I used to siphon and siphon out as much as I could. If you notice, I took a, a lot. A lot of these guys are in there. I put it against the black background so you guys could see it better, but yeah, they really don't do much. But they might be unsightly, and a good way to get rid of them is just use turkey baster and get out as much as possible and come back later and do it again. Just wanna know if anybody else had any trouble with hydroids and what they did about them. But what I found to do was just really take them out by hand. And that's pretty much it, guys. Keep following the updates. And hopefully I get rid of these guys in the next week or two. Um, I know that they, their polyp extensions, are they kind of look like um, like cracked glass and they'll just spread. But um, I assume I'd never saw it just because it's inside the Kato. But it's always a good idea to check your Kato before you put it in the tank. Like I said, I found Aptasia in mine, one of them before. In this one I got Hydroid Jellyfish. So there's always something. Just... Make sure you keep a good eye out.